resurrecting the Viscount Imperial organ. These are very rare. We've only seen maybe it was the same one. We've I think seen two of them. All seen in eBay all these years. Uh, this one was in good shape. The rest of these had some issues with um, con uh, the uh, things that keep it from flip-flopping. See, one was cracked there. We repaired. This one I had to put a wire on. Do you see that? I actually drilled a 16th inch hole and put the 14 gauge wire and it works very well. Very well indeed. These um, down here I also did. And I made wires and so I goop stiffened them because they're not stiffened and they're not quite the same uh, tension. I don't know if you can see that. I put some RV goop <laughs> to put a little bounce there. <coughs> And those were good too. No real issue with that thing. It holds fine. But yeah, a lot of them were completely broken underneath and um, the wires were missing on those, but others were like that one broken or the whole thing was just missing on a couple of them. I had to use, I had to just put a wire down in and goop it. Put a curl of wire coming out like that to make a hook. So anyway, that's how we dealt with that. This is, um, reverb unit there, power supply, and the various mixing and switching facilities up here. Okay, we'll have more uh, under here. Of course, it's a multi-bus thing. What do we got? One, two, very uh, complex organ. Six buses on this particular bus bar. I gotta clean that lower one too still. So. It's kinda ugly. And on the lower just three three buses. And it uses a this is remnant of a capacitor that exploded. <laughs> what happened was a ground wire went bad here and that caused the voltage to actually invert and blow a capacitor and then I thought, oh wow, they put the cap in backwards. Look, the voltage is backwards, and I put it in backwards, not realizing that I had another repair to do. So nothing worked after that. It was just pop, pop, pop. SAJ-110 dividers, discrete coils for each one, and this big old gear network here, which uh, probably is what? This is the base. These are the base dividers right here. And uh, that's the base keying stuff there. So, yeah. And then they have keying for that. So this is, uh, I think that's the keyboard stuff. I'm not sure. Yeah. They have a piano preset and a harpsichord and clapboard or something. What did they have? Ah, there we go. Anyway, yeah, it's definitely all working now except we have some connection issues here. So these interconnects are a little funny so we'll get that dealt with and we'll demo this thing. Wow it all works finally. Okay I got it polished up a little bit. This thing is uh, one of the most full featured combo organ things I think we've dealt with. Okay so what we got here this is, for some reason, it's going to be percussion no matter what. You've got to resolve that issue still. This thing's been a pain. I don't know why it doesn't turn off. The reverb does. Okay. Hit a legato effect. Hit that effect. Oh, that's tricky. There's legato. Gives you an envelope that sustains. That one sustains a little too. I don't know why. The percussion was supposed to just. But anyway, some reason. Throw the draw bars on it.
control between that and I, I believe from the block that the uh, it doesn't really balance. The, it's not much. <laughs> there should be some effect. According to the block, there shouldn't be any. But that's the block of the old uh, version of it, and this may be different. I don't know. So anyway, that's the general idea of this thing. It's got your uh, base with a sustainer and four 16 and 8 foot presets. Quite hard to hear. I have pace in the sub phase. I don't know what that means. G E D C K T and board on. And it's not very loud through my little lamp, so it is a nice sound. But that uh, legato, I'm a real into that feature. It sounds good. We have a Viscount organ, a gem. Originally, we're going to fix the corner still. Other than that, it's pretty much all done. This lady dropped it, as you see in my other video. And uh, this is truly, I think it's warmer sounding. It's less cheese poppy sounding than most of the far pieces of this era. This is a 1974 uh, Viscount organ. They used the SAJ-110 dividers that I showed you in there, similar to some of the Krumar machines. Really got that nice fat sound. And uh, it's got some nice bass there. So we got uh, cancels here. These are the, the generals are your cancels for the reverb and it's got a bright control there and it's got upper or draw bar. And percussion. I got the uh, tremolo on. So let's see, let's do the uh, percussion coupler or 16, 8, 5 and a third, 4, 2 and a two and two thirds and two. It's got a lot of footages for everything and uh, it's a little it's an improvement. I think they got more footages than the uh, gem version of this organ. They added the five and a third I believe and uh, what I can tell on the schematics anyway. the uh, legato thing it gives you kind of an uh, envelope there to use it the right way without the percussion cut. Turn off. There's your straight percussion. It gives you kind of an envelope on top there. Yeah, anyway, I'll show that in one of the other videos. I'm not sure which clip it has, it has any problems. It keeps developing problems as I go along, but it turns out the percussion coupler actually is supposed to do that, I guess. So, <laughs> okay. It makes the kind of feathers it into the percussion and uh, kills the volume a lot of the sustain. So, that's that. Anyway, so this you got your just your down here, just your early, uh, whoops, that's the lower. Okay, you're about to the end of your recording. Oh, really? Should have more. Should have a lot more. Keep going. Oh, it's got a little more. Should have a lot more. Okay, it's got a lot more. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's that much. Look, look, look. Hey, I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna mess it up here. I want you to. Okay. Anyway, so that's the lower. It just has some presets. The upper is uh, much more interesting. It has all the presets you can mix with the draw bars, and you can add on the uh, percussion, of course. And also a piano kind of. Well, there's the piano, <laughs> clavichord, and spinet, and you can set the envelope on it. So anyway, that's kind of that. And then the bass, of course, sustain and um, just four preset 16 and 8 foot bass thing. So this is a hip organ. I, I think this is uh, 
definitely one of the top of the line at, of the uh, more rare combo organs here. This this thing has a lot of cool potential. So see if you can snag one, and Paul will be selling this one, I guess, and uh, so you can always look on eBay. <laughs>